25,000 projects completed. System Pavers delivers more than just beautiful actual resources. You get peace of mind knowing the job's done right. Call System Pavers at 800-PAVE-004 today. That's 800-P-A-V-E-004 or visit systempavers.com right now. All orders must be placed by July 31st. Clients who subject to credit approval. See website for full offer of demolition savings details. Contractor license 661-575. Shall I compare me to a sunny day? Well, I am hot. I've got a sunny disposition and this speedo. Now your top reason to visit Bermuda. Be a corn dog maker when you earn 500 points on your reward card. The 18th or 19th. Number two. Rodney Carrington. Live August 6th. And the number one reason. Watch all your favorite baseball stars play July 19th. On big screens everywhere you eat, stay, and play. Morongo. Good time. Well, the weather's warming up and the days are getting longer, so it's time to ditch that extra baggage. Did you know that donating your old car or damaged car to Cars for Kids can take about two minutes? Fill out the easy forms at carsforkids.org or call them. 1-877-CARS-FOR-KIDS. Cars for Kids will arrange for you to receive a tax deduction and a vacation voucher, so you'll be all set. Avoid the hassle of selling the car yourself. Just go to carsforkids.org today. And remember, that's Cars for the K. Prop 27 generates hundreds of millions of dollars every year in permanent funding for permanent solutions to homelessness, mental health issues, and addiction in California. Prop 27 does it by taxing and regulating online sports betting for adults 21 and over, with strict protections for minors and mandatory audits to ensure the money is spent effectively to reduce homelessness and help the most vulnerable people across our state. Prop 27 also generates funding for every single California tribe, including small, disadvantaged tribes who don't own big casinos. That's why homeless service providers, bipartisan local leaders, and California tribes all say yes on 27. Ad paid for by Yes on 27. Californians for Solutions to Homelessness and Mental Health Support, a coalition of housing and mental health experts, concerned taxpayers and digital sports entertainment and gaming companies, committee major funding from Betfair Interactive, USDBA, FanDuel Sportsbook. Enjoy deep freeze savings on ice cream at Whole Foods Market. Take 25% off ice cream and frozen treats through July 19th while supplies last. Plus, Prime members save an extra 10%. See more on the Whole Foods Market app. Make this the year you go to our iHeartRadio Music Festival. Friday, September 23rd and Saturday the 24th. Giveaway Arena here in Las Vegas. Buy your tickets now at AXS.com. Having the time of your life is more rewarding than ever when you visit any of the MGM resorts nationwide. With MGM Rewards, dine, stay, play, and earn on all of it. Get details at MGMRewards.com. Subject to warning and redemption limitations applicable to certain purchases and in certain states. What's with your shirt? Your stomach out? I'm cooling off. It's hot outside. We don't dress like that in corporate America. Okay. We do not I'll, do that. I'll write that down. Uh, Some people around here also have not gotten a note. Yeah, me. <laughs> but you put your shirt, Kroger. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true. The Tim Conway Jr. Show. You should take your shoes off. Weeknights at 6 on KM Bosch. <laughs> Tuesday morning, July 12th, uh, the January 6th committee meeting for the seventh time today. And this one is all about the super tweet by uh, then President Trump on December 19th. Uh, come to Washington and uh, go to this rally, and it's going to be wild. And the committee is saying, see, look, look, that's what started it off. Well, good luck putting those dots together. In uh, the meantime, uh, I want to talk about homelessness again. And the reason I talk so much about homelessness is obvious. I mean, homelessness is uh, staring us in the, fr- in the face every day. We confront it every day. We look at our parks, we look at our streets, we look at our underpasses, and it's homeless, homeless, encampments, encampments. And you think it's getting worse, it's getting worse. So, uh, of course, there are studies on there. And the latest that just came out, <clears throat> Uh, and these are a couple of authors uh, who have studied this, uh, is let's look at, here's the question, let's look at this and uh, find out why. What's going on? 
And is it, uh, well, let me ask you, if I were to say, give me the reason for homelessness, and you typically would say, okay, drug addiction, fair enough, mental illness, okay, alcoholism, poverty, all of it absolutely true. Uh, as these authors, uh, University of California, this uh, press book, Homelessness is a Housing Problem, they are arguing, saying, you look at the one commonality between all of it. Even if you have the same amount of drug addiction, we're talking about per 100,000, because that's really it. I mean, obviously, a small city is going to have a big, small number than a large city. But if you look at any two given cities, same number of alcoholics, same number of drug addicts, same number of uh, people who are mentally ill, what's the difference? Why is, for example, the city of Los Angeles have one of the highest homeless ratings, the highest numbers of homeless in the United States, and then you have other cities like Chicago, which has a fraction relative to us. Is it the weather? No, they look at the weather too, and that isn't the that isn't a huge contribution. It's a contribution, but not enormous. You know what it is? It's the cost of housing. There it is. That's the commonality. They're saying that's it. That is the big one. I mean, all of the other ones certainly have a contributing aspect to it, but the big one is simply the cost of housing, which makes it almost impossible to rent in many cases. Look at the income you need. Look at what the average family is paying for rent, $2,600, $2,800 uh, a month for a two-bedroom. Uh, the cost of buying houses, of course, that becomes astronomical, even as prices are decreasing somewhat. So people fall into homelessness, lose their job. That's what Katarina's Club is all about, our annual charity that KFI is so involved with. It's for people who have become homeless, families, uh, and we're there to help them out. And they're living in these little motel rooms. There are governmental programs, but the idea of, for example, these families uh, getting out of homelessness is getting a voucher for a hotel, a motel room, a rundown motel that's been converted, and you have an entire family, a family of three or four, living in a room with one of those Costco small size refrigerators and a hot plate, and that's their living room, their bedroom, their kitchen, their dining room. And so it is the cost of housing that does it. And here is another issue that makes it so difficult, is once people fall into homelessness, they can't pay the rent anymore. More employees are done, except you know, taking L.A., the city of L.A., until January 1st, I mean, go figure. Uh, you, people get evicted. Because landlords have to pay their mortgages, so out people go and fall into a homeless situation. Well, the longer people are homeless, uh, the more difficult it is to get out of it. And then you have everything else kicking in. You've got mental issues, you have emotional issues, because for people who don't live on the streets as a lifestyle and have for years, you know, the, the, the people in camps and tents, etc., and there's a group of them that that's just where they live, uh, it is very rough. I mean, it is crazy rough, and you fall into it, and the longer you're there, the more depressed you are, the less self-esteem. Uh, it's, you just, I mean, what, what do you do to give an address if you're applying for a job? I mean, it's a tough way to go, and then getting out of homelessness. And again, this is where Katarina's Club comes in. So now you have a family that is back on its feet somewhat. Uh, mom, dad have gotten jobs. And now what? Now, okay, I'm going to get into an apartment. Well, how about buying furniture? How about paying first, last, and security? How do you afford that? Even if you can scrape together $2,000 a month, you need $5,000 to get into a place. I mean, that's check writing money. You need that much money to get into a place. And that becomes an insurmountable issue. So uh, the answer as far as these authors are concerned, and it, it is legitimate, is affordable housing. Problem is, is affordable housing is not affordable. Not for the rest of us who pay it. The cost of affordable housing, the number of units that is needed, or that are needed, 
uh, that becomes an unaffordable concept because the numbers are astronomical. And so the bottom line is that if you happen to be homeless, if you happen to live in an area where housing prices are among the most expensive, then you're going to be among those numbers uh, that are the highest homeless figures uh, in the country. L.A. County, twice or three times the number of homeless than Chicago, because Chicago is a lot more affordable to live in. Chicago in the winter, on the other hand, is not a thrill either. In the summer, a lot of sweltering goes on. You know, the weather here is pretty terrific. But when you're talking, does it doesn't really matter what the weather is like if you're homeless and you're living in a shelter? Not particularly. Uh, all the way around. And then this whole concept, talked about this yesterday, is uh, the rental market today has ton, just outstripped uh, the median income concept, where used to be 30% of your income should go to rent or mortgage. Now it's way over 50. Numbers don't even count anymore uh, because the numbers are so crazy. Uh, so
Yes, I want to find a spoon. I want to find a spoon. Oh, it's done.
plants. Mm -hmm. You need to try.
Thank you. 